Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically send Google form responses to Google Sheets and to email. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see, we have a form called as library form that I have built in Google form and it has the field name, email and pick a book. So the idea is that once the form is submitted in this particular form, the details of the form will be added in this Google Sheet. Furthermore, the person who is submitting the form will be getting an email from me. So let us add the details. For instance, we have the person's email. So this is the email and the name of the person is Amy. Okay, so this is the email address amy26064 at gmail.com and Amy is going to pick English book. So the submission has been made by a person called as Amy. So now the idea is that the details of Amy will go to a Google Sheet. So let's have a look. Yes, we do have the details of Amy. So this is the name, this is the email and this is of course the book or her preference that is English book. So now she will be getting an email from me. So let's just explore. Let me just straight away take you to the Gmail profile of Amy. So this is the email profile of Amy. Okay, so as you can see, this is the email profile of Amy. And this is the email that she has received. Hello, Amy, your request has been received. We will get back to you soon. Your details, Amy, that is the name. This is the email and the book choice that is English. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Google Forms to Google Sheet to email? So basically here we have used an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Google Forms and Gmail. Now the best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. So let me just show you the process. So basically in the new tab just type pabli.com pabli.com press enter p a -B -B .com, pabli .com, press enter. So this is the website of pabli.com just hover on products and here you will find connect just click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built the account. So let me just straight away click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets, Google Sheets to, I'm sorry, not Google Sheets, Google Forms, Google Forms to Google Sheets, Google Sheets to Gmail. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So what's the deal with the trigger window as well as the action window? So when we are talking about automation in Pabli Connect, it works on the concept of triggers and action. The trigger is basically an if statement. It asks the question, if this happens, what should be done? For example, if a new form submission happens in Google Forms, the action will be the data will be entered in Google Sheets. At the same time, an email will be sent to the respondent. So what we are going to do here is using these two windows, we are going to create a workflow to integrate Google Forms to Google Sheets to Gmail. Now, the best part here is I will be adding the link of this workflow in the description box so that you can clone it and directly access it to your account. OK, so we are going to start by selecting the Choose app as Google Forms. Google Forms it is. Now in the trigger event, how about make it as new response in spreadsheet. So new response in spreadsheet is a trigger event. So first of all, let me just tell you we do at present we only have one trigger event that is new response in spreadsheet. But in case if you want more trigger events, just approach the help section. So when you click on the help section, you will be directed to Pabli forums and in Pabli forums, you can make a request that you want so and so trigger events or the action events. Let me just uh, cancel this. Okay. So overall, the gist is we are just trying to integrate Google forms to Pabli connect. So first of all, let me just uh, take you to the Google form that I want to integrate with. So this is the Google form. Let me just cancel these old things. So this is the new Google form. Okay, new library form. And uh, as you can see, it's basically the replica of the old form. So the idea is that first of all, let me just click this. Okay, and let me just uh, toggle this to the right. So this will ensure that this last step is a mandatory one. So what we're going to do here is we are going to send the data of the respondent first to the Google sheet. And this can be done very easily. So all you have to do is just click on responses. Okay. And in the responses, you will find this icon create spreadsheet. You click here. So here we have two choices, create a new spreadsheet, select existing spreadsheet. 
we are going with the create a new spreadsheet and by default it has already given a name new library form i have no intention to change it so let me just straight away click on create so a spreadsheet that is uh, associated or interlinked with this library form this google form is being generated so as you can see the sheet has been created it basically has the same fields that is the name email and pickup book that we have in our google form name email and pickup book at the same time we also have one more field that is one more column that is timestamp so all the columns that is present here is basically a reflection of all the fields so the idea is that once the data is submitted in this particular form it will automatically enter in this google sheet i hope it is getting clear now what we are going to do here is the idea is that from this particular google sheet we will be sending the data to pabli connect and this is how you do it you click on add-ons okay and just click on Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now, Pabli Connect Webhook is an add-on that I have installed in my Google Sheet. Since you are beginning fresh, Pabli Connect Webhooks might not have been installed yet. So, first of all, just click on Get Add-ons. So, when you click on Get Add-ons, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. In the search, all you have to do is just type Pabli Connect Webhooks. Pabli Connect Webhooks. Okay, so the button is showing Pabli Connect Webhooks is already installed in my system. Now, all you have to do is just click on this button and Pabli Connect Webhooks will be installed in your system also. Now, uh, after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks in your Google Sheet, do not forget to refresh your system. I repeat this again. After installing Pabli Connect Webhooks in your Google Sheet, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. So, I have already installed. Let me just cancel this. So, I'm assuming that you have installed Pabli Connect Webhooks and also refresh your Google Sheet. So, there is something I have to tell you. As you can see, column D is our last data entry column. I repeat this again, column D is our last data entry column. Now let me just go to add-ons, Pabli Connect Webhooks, just click on initial setup. Okay, so this is the window of initial setup. Here we have uh, two windows, two fields, that is uh, the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. Now the trigger column is always the last data entry column. I repeat this again, the trigger column is always the last data entry column. In our case, the trigger column is column D, which is basically the last data entry column. Now we have to mention the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL. You simply copy this and you just paste it here. Okay. And simply just click on submit. Okay. So essentially it means that we have integrated this Google sheet to Pabli Connect. Okay. So the idea is that once the respondent fills in this form, the data will be automatically sent to this Google sheet. And from here, it will be sent to Pabli Connect. And from Pabli Connect, it will be sent to third party apps like Gmail. So there is something else you have to do. Go back to add-ons, Pabli Connect Webhooks, just click on send on event. So this will ensure that anytime column D is filled, it will keep sending on the data to Pabli Connect. And Pabli Connect is ready to receive the data. Excellent. So how about we do some experiment? So what we are going to do here is we are going to fill in some responses. So let me just click on preview. Okay, so now we are going to fill some details. So the name of the guy is Terrace. Okay. And uh, this is email of Terrace. Okay, this is the email address of Terrace. And he's going to work on environment. He has picked the book that is environment. So let me just click on submit. Okay, so the submission has been made by a guy called as Terrace. So let's have a look. First, do we have the data in our Google Sheet? Now, I forgot to mention why we are working in incognito mode. That's pretty obvious question. Why the hell are we working on incognito mode? Well, the answer is very simple. If you are working with Google Sheet and have multiple Gmail account, it is always advisable that you work in incognito mode. Otherwise, there will be the problem of authentication. So this is my Google Sheet. And as you can see, we do have the data here. We have the timestamp, basically the time at which the data was collected. Then we have the name, then we have the email, and then we have, of course, the choice. That is, he wants the environment book. So the last data entry column, that is column D, which is also the trigger column, has been filled. This means the trigger has been rigged. So let's have a look whether Pabli Connect has captured the data. Yes, we do have the data. We have the name of the guy that is Terrace. This is the email address terrasmoravik663 at the rate gmail.com. The book is environment. So we have got all the data. Now we are going to send an email to this email address. So we are going to send the email to Terrace. Okay, so this is how you do it. You introduce yourself to this window that is the action window. Now we are going to select the app as Gmail. So we do have Gmail here, or you can simply search for Gmail. In the action event, we just want to send an email and simply just click on connect. We are going with a new connection and let me just click on connect with Gmail. Okay, so as you can see, 
since we are working in incognito mode, there is only one Gmail account. So I'm selecting this one. We are planning to send the email using this account. Now, before I press allow, because Public Connect want access to my Gmail account, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Okay, so the authorization is successful. Excellent. So we have the fields like the recipient name, the email address, the sender name, the sender email address. So the idea is that using all these fields, we are going to uh, compose a email from the data that we have received from Google Forms via Public Connect. So we have the first uh, field that is the recipient name. Now the recipient name is of course Terrace. This is the data that we have received from Google Forms. The name is Terrace. So we are just going to simply map this and this is how you map it. You click here and you click here and that's done. Then we have the email address, you click here and then we have mapped the email address. Remember this, this is the same email address where we will be sending the email. Then we have the sender name, the sender name is um, new library. Now library, new library in Chicago, new library Chicago. That's the name of the library, new library Chicago. Let me just correct the spelling, okay. Now the sender email address is basically my email address so I'm just going to manually enter it. On manual gmail.com Okay then we have reply to email address which can be simply ignored then we have the email subject book choice. Okay just a random email subject that's all. The email content would be something like hello and let's map the name once again. Hello, Terrace. We have uh, received, received, I'm sorry about the spelling. Hello, Terrace. We have received the, we received your book choice. We will process it ASAP. Thank you. And thank you. Oh, how about we? These are your details. And let me just uh, add the details. Okay. We have the name as Deris. Let me just map the name Deris. Then we have the email as uh, Deris Moravik book choice. I think it was environment okay so we have uh, mapped sufficient detail we have basically composed an email content hello there is we have received your book choice we will process it ASAP these are your details so at this point all you have to do is just uh, click on save and send test request to send the data to there is so the response is a positive one so let me just straight away take you to the email profile of Darius. So this is the email profile of Darius and this is the email that he has received. Hello Darius, we have received your book choice, we process it ASAP and these are the details. So the presence of uh, this uh, data shows that we have a successful integration between uh, uh, Google Forms as well as Google Sheet as well as uh, Gmail. Now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this uh, action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Forms to Public Connect, and then you integrated Public Connect to Gmail. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Forms and Gmail. Excellent. Not just these two apps, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Public Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate or you can just post your queries at forum .com. So if you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Also, I will make sure the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. Thank you.